uh, for our brief uh, meditation this morning after our fountain of tears against mountain of tears fasting prayer a time when we could pray for the nations uh, the nation of india the google generation your tension and my tension uh, such a fruitful time such a worthwhile time uh, today i'm going to answer a question that i have been asked at least uh, three or four times via whatsapp and in several other conversations i'm going to answer the question and leave behind an application so i'm going to answer a question that i've been asked uh, which i have not directly answered uh, i promised to answer to some people but i never got to doing it but as i was preparing to uh, share god's word today i was specifically led to give you the answer as well as leave you with an application so what is this question the question is very simple the question is is taking the vaccine the covid vaccine or the covid-19 vaccine uh, is it equivalent to uh, having on our bodies the mark of the beast uh, several scholars have answered this question uh, some have gone this way some have gone that way you will know that i'm going one way so i'm not going to say anything new but i will try to say it in a uh, typical uh, uh, duke jerat style as the lord will enable me to do that so is taking the vaccine covid-19 vaccine is it equivalent to receiving the mark of the beast or the mark of the antichrist all right uh, why is this question the first thing we need to ask ourselves is why are even people bringing this question okay the reason could be this uh, and i want to ask my daughter to read revelation chapter 14 and verse 9 Revelation chapter fourteen and verse nine. Uh, maybe uh, this verse could have inspired this question. Re- Revelation fourteen and verse nine. And another angel, a third, followed them, saying with a loud voice, "Okay, if anyone worships the beast, if and- anyone worships the beast and its image, and its image, and receives a mark on his forehead or on his hand, and receives a mark on his forehead or on the." Hands, yes. He will, he also will drink the wine of God's wrath. He will drink the wine of God's wrath, and so on and so forth. Okay, so here is a clear, uh, uh, the angel speaking, right? The angel's announcement or God's announcement, and God says, "Don't receive the mark of the beast on the hands." Yes, of course, the head is there, and the hands as well. And then another reference, uh, we will not read it for the lack of time. Another reference in Revelation connecting the mark of the beast to what you receive on the hands is Revelation thirteen, eleven, sixteen, and seventeen. I believe verse sixteen talks about uh, receiving the mark of the beast on the hands. Revelation thirteen, eleven, sixteen, and seventeen. And there's a third reference, Revelation chapter twenty and verse four, which again connects the hand with uh, receiving the mark of the beast in the hand, of course, the forehead as well. Uh, and then some people have gone on to say that okay corona if you say c equals to 3 okay a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 and then if you do the math and if you do corona c o r o n a o will equal to 15 r will equal to 18 o will be equal to 15 again n will equal uh, to 14 a will be equal to 1 that is 66 and then there are six letters c o r o n a So it's six six six. Corona has something to do with six six six, the mark of the beast. Now these are the kinds of things that are going rounds in on YouTube and and WhatsApp, and believers are frankly confused. To add to this, there is another thing that has come up. Bill six 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 was introduced by Democratic Congressman Bobby Rush, and it is known as the COVID testing, reaching, contacting. Everyone trace. In other words, COVID testing, uh, COVID nineteen testing, reaching, contracting everyone trace, uh, which allows government supposedly to enter homes and test and remove family members, including kids, and take them to quarantine and maybe even inject the vaccine to them possibly. Uh, so, uh, so this is a bill called six 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 six. So that's you know something. People say there's some COVID nineteen has something to do with the. mark of the antichrist or the receiving the vaccine so what does the bible say that's something we must answer okay uh now i want to briefly i want to briefly answer that question give briefly give you uh understand the purpose of the book of revelation 
and i want to assert that revelation is a letter the way romans is a letter the way galatians is a letter the way corinthians is a letter in corinthians we know there was a actual problem that happened and that problem is a famous problem uh, a man sleeping with his own mother stepmother bible scholars say and that's that is the context for some of what paul is saying in corinthians and in the same way you must understand there's a context for revelation if you don't understand the context for revelation you will assassinate the message of revelation in fact you if you for example my daughter is sitting uh, next to me and i'll say that i shall see you that means after this zoom meeting is over i'll see her but if i say that tasha i will see you i saw you behaving badly during the zoom meeting the anger of my voice that has a another meaning this i say i see you but the the meaning is completely different so the context determines the meaning and the context of book of revelation is the roman imperial cult okay uh talking about the churches in and around asia with the rome being the uh prominent city julius caesar died and after he died he was he called him he was called god his adopted son augustus was called son of god down the line even caesars were alive the rulers of rome were alive called uh, one was nero he wanted to be called lord and god and then domini dominician uh you know he also wanted to be called god both of them wanted to be called god nero and dominician and the book of revelation was certainly written during one of these two rulers uh, when they were uh, when they were alive and persecuting the christians and these two rulers were a little uh, off head because uh, nero killed his own mom and he killed the christians dominician uh, one day he lavished a palace steward with praise and the next day crucified him or killed him and because of their bizarre behavior the early church believers in and around asia or around rome and that area called them beasts they were nicknamed beasts even as revelation was being written among christians the secret code word was they were called beasts you know it's like rahul dravid uh is called the wall uh that's a nickname for rahul dravid uh and these roman cruel roman emperors who called themselves guards and were persecuting the christians and they had a bizarre head they were almost like they were they were uh, as we could say mental you know they were they had some mental problems you know they were called as beasts that, that was what was the the language used so this is the context in which revelation is being written and the bible is very clear in revelation chapter 1 and verse 4 revelation chapter 1 and verse 11 it is a letter addressed to seven churches in asia minor who were being persecuted by these caesars or caesar and they had a bizarre attitude a mental attitude and and they were properly referred to as beasts so what is the message of revelation then when you when the book of revelation says don't wear the mark of the beast on your head or forehead it means do not give your imagination over to caesar and don't blindly do what caesar tells you to do if caesar says worship me don't worship caesar use your head because you know you need to love your god with your mind and if if the book of revelation says do not take the mark of the beast in your hand it will mean that do not use your hands and legs to serve caesar and his anti biblical agenda so that's what it would mean and i have often said and i would say it again the message of the book of revelation cannot be something new what the first 65 books has not clearly taught us because it's using symbolic language which the early church clearly understood okay the writer of revelation a senior man of god john was writing in a in a relative code language which the original readers the the church members understood because they they used this terminology just like the modern generation knows uh, uh who is uh, 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 the wall when it comes to cricket context and uh who is uh, bebo when it comes to bollywood and and, in, and i can extend this analogy endlessly uh who is the god of football when 
and then we talk about Maradona uh, and, and so on and so forth. Okay, so having given this context, let me quickly, uh, you know, uh, take you through some verses. Let's read Revelation 7 and verses 3 and 4. And uh, my daughter will read that for me. Revelation chapter 3 and uh, 7 and verses 3 and 4. Yes. Saying, saying, do not harm the earth. Do not harm the earth. Or the seas or the trees. Or the seas or the trees. Until we have sealed the servants of our God. Until we have sealed the servants of our God. On their foreheads. The servants of our God are sealed where? On the forehead. Okay. Now, this seal on the forehead in the book of Revelation is actually talked about you know is 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 reflective of another passage in Rev Ezekiel chapter 9 1 through 6 where again in, there is a ceiling on the part of the body and chances are and the indications are when God says I seal you it is a symbolic way to mean that every part of your mind and your body and your being and your imagination and your inclination and your motive and everything about you when God wants to seal your head should be geared towards me should be in obedience to me so we are not talking about a literal sealing on the head okay uh, and the, this is what certain Bible scholars say and I tend to agree with them for example let's read uh, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 17 and again I'm asserting uh, what the first 65 books of the Bible has clearly taught Revelation will, will emphasize and underline okay Galatians 6 17 can you read quickly Galatians 6 17 and I'm about to make the application and close Galatians chapter 6 and verse 17 from now on from now on let no one cause me no one caused me trouble. trouble for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus for I bear on my body the marks of Jesus Paul says nobody can cause him trouble because he bears on his body the marks of Jesus what does that mean uh, Paul is not talking about physical trouble because there was physical trouble that he faced he got beaten in several places and Chances are, uh, uh, church history indicates that he died as a martyr for Jesus. Okay, so there was harm cast to Paul. Paul is not alive right now. Paul is not immortal. Paul is die Paul is dead. If, if if Paul was meaning when he said, "If no one can cause me trouble or no one can cause me harm," if he meant that literally, then Paul would be alive today. So he, Paul did not mean that first part of Galatians six seventeen literally. And the second part where he says, I wear the marks of Jesus on my body, even that is not literal. So if the first part of Galatians 16, 6, 17 is not to be taken literally. Second part also logically need not be taken literally. He says, I wear the marks of Jesus on my body, which means I serve Jesus with all my body. With, I serve Jesus with all my being. Because I serve Jesus with all my being, even if I die, as he says in Romans 14, in that famous passage, Romans 14, it's definitely there. Even if he says, if I'm alive, I live for, I live for Jesus. If I die, I still, live, I still live for Jesus because after I die, I will go to be with Jesus forever and forever. And though I get beaten, though I get killed, though I die, I will still be without trouble technically because I will be in Jesus' presence forever and forever. And why? Because I bear the marks of Jesus. I repented from sin and trusted in Jesus and I served Jesus with all my heart. I bear the marks of Jesus. It's a spiritual thing. So when the book of Revelation says, do not wear the mark of the beast, the early church believers clearly understood it. It is a clear call not to come under the influence of the evil ruler of that time who was actually asking him asking them to worship him in fact uh, uh, you just have to google search to know that if you wrote uh, uh, the ruler's name Neron Caesar in Hebrew and if you use the same analogy a equal to 1 b equal to 2 Neron Caesar in Hebrew means it will total to 666 so when Revelation says 666 the early church believers were not confused they were not scratching their heads when apostle paul talked about 666 and when they did their math because that is the 
that is a popular code in the hebrew language okay as a equal to 1 b equal to 2 when they did the math nero caesar written uh, uh, you know uh, nero caesar written in hebrew okay nero caesar written in hebrew would have totaled to 666 they had no doubt who the evil ruler was so what is the message of book of revelation it is not that you should not be taking the covid-19 vaccine it is that you should not compromise with popular overpowering rulers of our day who will take you from serving the living god so if your prime minister of your or if your president or if your company corporate company head or if your boss in the workplace tries to make you do something against the written word of god you do not obey him that's the meaning so don't take his mark on the head don't allow your thoughts to be captured by what he says now your friend in your workplace might say porn watching is okay but you don't get captured by that evil thought you your thought let it be captured by the word of god don't take it in your hand let your hands and limbs and every part of your body serve jesus and not what that world system is saying that is my understanding it's not remotely talking about taking the covid-19 vaccine in fact the bible is not against medicine the bible both in the old testament and the new testament talks about people of god using medicines don't i don't even want to go there right now so what i want to i want to finish this by reading a few verses in fact we'll read three verses and and again underlining the same thing what the first 65 books of the bible have clearly taught revelation is emphasizing eloquently the memorable word picture and the first reference is hebrews 12:4 okay the same message in another context said in the book of hebrews hebrews chapter 12 and verse 4 in your struggle against sin in your struggle against sin you have not yet resisted you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood the point of shedding your blood you know uh, the writer to the book of hebrews whom i believe is priscilla is saying you guys are obeying the popular leader of our country uh, who is telling you to reject jesus to and worship him if you worship him you will have to lose your life you will have your blood will be shed but it's all right let your blood be shed but you resist sin of the idol worship of worshiping the leader to the point of death the message of hebrews is what the message of Re- revelation repeats okay and then from the example of apostle paul acts 21 and verse 13 then paul answered then paul answered what are you doing what are you doing weeping and breaking my weeping heart weeping and breaking my heart for i am ready not only to be in prison i am ready not only to be in prison but even to die in jerusalem but even to die in jerusalem paul was ready to die for jesus and can we read acts 20 and verse 24 again Acts but chapter. I do not account my life of any value. Nor I do not account my life of any value. Why? It's, as, why? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing some exposition now. I don't care for my life because it is sealed for my living God. It's sealed for Jesus. So another man's seal. Okay, the devil's seal has no place in my life. On no, not on the forehead, nor on my hand, or not on any place in my body because my body. And my life is sealed for God. That's what he says. Okay, continue reading. Nor as precious to myself. I don't regard my life precious to myself. If only I may finish my course. If only I will finish my course. And the ministry that I received from Lord from the Lord Jesus. If only I will finish my course and the ministry I received from the Lord Jesus. Those are Paul's words to the Ephesian elders. And I'm reminded of that as I finish these 16 years of ministry here in Hyderabad, my wife and I and our family and our team of volunteers, you know, we finish our ministry here and we, as we move to another base, this is something that we remember. We always, uh, we, we, we remember that no matter what happens, we are going to stick to what God has called us to do. We might even, we might lose popularity, we might lose financial support, we might have one person attending the Zoom call, doesn't matter. We might get killed. We are not going to deviate from what God has called us. I mean, we will do it faithfully. We will have a come what may commitment. So the beast imagery 
and uh, and the beast imagery the mark of the beast imagery and receiving the mark on the forehead and and hands and saying no to that is the overall messages come to a come what may commitment to jesus the evil ruler or the most popular influence in your time might try to you know uh, push in their agenda on their head on your head or on your body or on your hands and your limbs but you resist it with all the force and stick to the written word of god even if it costs your life so that's the message it has got nothing to do with covid-19 vaccine in fact uh, you know uh, if somebody would say that you need to do this okay come to the when you, when at the queue when the, if the nurse would say okay deny jesus if you deny jesus then i'll give you vaccine then you don't have to take the vaccine but i don't think any nurse says that right or you tell me i'll 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 know whatsapp me i'll know if you are on the queue to take a vaccine and the nurse says deny jesus right now worship this worship prime minister worship president worship your chief minister uh, worship the the superintendent of this hospital worship him and say that you will follow him from here on from now on then i will give you the vaccine then you don't take the vaccine there is no problem here there is not, we are not in such a situation so let's not get sidetracked by absolutely baseless arguments presented to us and let's keep our head steady and go and read god's word in its context understand its message and live out a christian life so that's my message uh, that's the answer to the question uh, that's the application so shall we pray gracious heavenly father we thank you for these friends of mine who who have stayed for this uh, long zoom call almost two and a half hours or three hours and we started at 9:55 and it's almost going to be 1 at uh, 12:55 now and we thank you for the message that we heard from the book of revelation and also a lesson on how to interpret the bible lord i pray that we will have a come to all of us here will come to a come what may commitment as we work in the hospital as we work in the bank as we our homemakers as we work in the corporate hospital a uh, corporate hospital as we work lord as we design things wherever we are i pray that lord we will not allow the world system to influence our head and receive the mark of the beast thereby in effect on our head and let's not use our energy physical energy lord the the, the our hands and legs for the work of the devil and his agents here oh lord and let us use our energy uh, lord that you have given us physical energy that we have you have given us to lord to build your kingdom to travel and give tracks to use our voices to sing and to share the gospel and lord to uh, climb up highways and byways and lord and show your love and demonstrate your love and oh, lord help us never lord thereby in effect lord take the mark of the beast in the hands by giving into laziness which is a temptation for all of us over sleeping let us not wear the mark of the beast a lord by sleeping and snoring when we should be up and praying and reading your bible and working for the building of your kingdom so that is one way we receive the mark of the beast spiritually speaking lord i pray we will not get sidetracked by absolutely useless and a rubbish way of interpreting the bible but stay on course and stay and continue to be faithful even unto death till your return thank you lord in jesus christ name i pray amen thank you for hanging in there i still see eight participants thank you and uh, continue to pray for us this is a, this will be officially our last event uh, from out of hyderabad uh, even the sunday morning messages uh, when our volunteers finish some video work we will live stream the youtube we uh, not live stream uh, we will rec- we will upload it and then we will release it at that time at 7 o'clock in the morning in case uh, uh, the videos get ready uh, but otherwise uh, uh, we are not going to have programs of here but we should be in chennai before the end of this month and the end of this month we are planning to have a, a meeting from chennai and uh, meanwhile you'll month get a lot of month, month and midnight prayer will be yeah. from chennai and on on the last week of this month we'll have the question thirst quench truthfully uh, uh, from chennai okay so that's uh, that's the announcement from our end and uh, ashish is right now working on a video uh, working very hard and 
and once that video is released you'll get a glimpse of how god graciously used us in 11 different churches in hyderabad it will be a, a video more than 1 hour long uh, and uh, we are going to play the last few minutes of the messages i preached in 11 different churches in hyderabad alone and and we have no time to talk about uh, our travels to uh, pune and uh, orissa and uh, tamil nadu and kerala and different places god used us and the meetings that ha- uh, happened but as we leave hyderabad i think it's appropriate to revisit with a grateful heart what god did in these 11 selected churches that we had ministries in the last 16 years spread over and and the altar call scenes and so we'll send you that video so you can uh, you can witness you can watch it you can praise god with us and that will be a memory that we will leave and so that we would video will will shortly release uh, via uh, on youtube and via whatsapp link so thank you very much and and thank you for your patience we'll continue to pray your prayer points uh, uh, we have it with us we'll continue to pray until we meet again uh, next time signing in from the city of chennai god willing uh, we will see you all bye bye